A big challenge for new instrument rated pilots is picking up an IFR clearance and understanding all the elements associated with one. This is how all IFR flights are initiated and in this video EasyFly will analyze all the elements that make up this clearance. Today we're planning a flight from Miami Executive Airport to Tampa International Airport as shown in the route. And the file route for our flight was direct to the Bingo's intersection, then direct to the Lavelle BUR, and then we were planning on joining the Breach 8 arrival into Tampa. And on their remarks, we requested the Miami 8 departure Bingo's transition. Once we're ready to pick up our IFR clearance, we should have the clearance delivery or ground control frequency from our departure airport set, and the acronym CRAFT written down in our kneeboard or iPad. This will help us write down the elements contained in the clearance in an orderly fashion way. And Miami clearance November 123 Echo Charlie's at spot 13 with information Bravo would like to pick up our IFR clearance to Tampa. November 123 Echo Charlie cleared to the Tampa airport via radar vectors to join the Miami 8 departure. Bingo's transition, then as filed. Climb and maintain 2000, expect 6000, 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency is 125.5, squawk 4356. Alright, November 123, Echo Charlie is clear to the Tampa International Airport via radar vectors to join the Miami 8 departure. Bingo's transition, then as filed. We're climbing on 2000, expect 6000 in 10 minutes. Uh, departure frequency is 125.5, and we'll squawk 4356. Now, the first element we need to analyze is the clearance limit. The clearance issued prior to departure normally authorizes you to fly to your destination airport, like in the example shown before. However, because of delays at your destination, you may be cleared to a fix short of your destination. If this happens, you will be given an expect further clearance time. The following is an example of a reroute given by ATC. November 123 Echo Charlie, you are cleared direct to bridge. Bravo Romeo Delta Golf Echo. Hold as published, maintain 6000, and expect further clearance at 1440 Zulu. Time now, 1410 Zulu. The next element in our clearance is our route. Clearances are normally given to the route filed by the pilot. However, due to traffic conditions, it is sometimes necessary for ATC to specify a route different from the one requested. In addition, flow patterns or preferred routes have been established in congested areas. Information on these routes are available in the chart supplement. Additionally, ATC can also issue an abbreviated IFR departure clearance whenever possible. This type of clearance uses the phrase cleared as filed to indicate that you have been cleared to fly the route as containing your IFR flight plan. An abbreviated clearance only applies to the route segment of the clearance. Besides the statement clear as filed, it always contains the name of the destination airport or clearance limit, any applicable seat name, number, and transition, your assigned and route altitude, and any additional instructions such as departure control frequency or transponder code assignment. The altitude or flight level instructions in an ATC clearance normally require you to maintain the altitude or flight level at which the flight will operate when in controlled airspace and the altitude to expect after ATC takes you out of busy and congested airspace. A cruise clearance may be issued by ATC in situations where the route segment is relatively short and traffic congestion is not a consideration. In this type of clearance, the controller uses the words cruise instead of the word maintain when issuing an altitude assignment. The significance of a cruise clearance is that you may operate at any altitude from the minimum IFR altitude up to and including the altitude specifying the clearance. Each change in altitude does not require a report to ATC. However, once you begin a descent and report leaving an altitude, you may not climb back up to that altitude without obtaining an ATC clearance. Another important aspect of a cruise clearance is that it also authorizes you to proceed to and execute an approach at the destination airport. In other words, you do not need to request and ATC will not issue a separate approach clearance at the destination airport when you have been issued a cruise clearance. To continue, clearance delivery will assign you a departure control frequency to contact when assigned by ATC or after leaving the seat of an uncontrolled airport. Tracon will guide you to connect with the route phase of your flight. And the last element of your clearance will be a transponder code for radar identification. And there you have it guys, an IFR clearance and its variables easily explained. Don't forget to subscribe and to check our other courses at myeasyfly.com.